what's going on? If you're in the market for a new pair of chinos that are around $20, boom. I'm about to do a review on them and I'm gonna let you know if you should buy them or not. I had to throw on the Flamingo Christmas boys. No, those are not weed plants, those are palm trees. My name is Chris and on this channel, I review men's clothes, uh, grooming products, and some stuff in between that. So if that's something you're looking for, some content, if you wanna learn something, find some new products, some stuff you might like, go ahead and subscribe. So you might be asking yourself, you spent $20 on a pair of pants from Amazon that you didn't even try on? Chat, you betcha I did. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, I took a chance on it because on Amazon, they actually had over 7,000 reviews. I was like, damn, 7,000? Come on, some, something's gotta be going on here, right? I looked at some of the reviews, looked at some of the good ones, looked at some of the bad ones, and I was like, all right, let me go ahead and take a chance on them. From what I could see, everything looked to be in order. I did see one review though that said theirs came in a bag rolled up and really wrinkly, so I don't know where they, I don't know where they got those from, but it, I'm guessing it was some side shady stuff. So I bought these mainly to wear them at work because they're flat front chinos and pretty versatile. You know, they do what they need to do, and I like them so far. And right now, I probably wear these more than any other pair of pants that I have. One thing I will say is that they don't actually have as much of a taper to them as I would have liked. That's one thing I was kind of like mm, about the almost fit traditionally. There is taper to it and you know, like from a distance, you can see it, you're like, oh yeah, but when you get up on it, you're like, hey, where'd these, where'd these old man pants come from? I've only had them for about a month and they still haven't faded, so that's good, right? Another quick thing I wanna mention is that shipping was actually fast on it. I was like, what? I was confused, cause you know, with everything going on right now, I ordered them on August 19th and they came here August 21st, so it was straight up two day shipping. So that was great, and I was really surprised at that because Amazon shipping has just been kind of all over the place, you know? Now let's go ahead and talk about that price. I got them for $20.50 as of recording this video, they were still $20.50. These are actually a part of Amazon Essentials. It that ass says Amazon Essentials on the back. So I don't know if that's gonna, I don't know if you wanna rip that off or something, like if that bothers you or something, it doesn't make a difference to me. Being a part of the Amazon Essentials means they're a part of Prime, which is how I got the two day shipping. And they're also a part of the Amazon wardrobe, which means you can actually, if you have the wardrobe subscription already, you can actually, whatever it's called, try before you buy, I think. And meaning you can actually get them shipped to you, try them on, if you don't like them, just send them back. That's if you have the Amazon wardrobe. That's what it's called, I keep forgetting the name. Let's talk about these materials real quick. So these are actually 60% cotton and 40% polyester and no elastane. So there's no stretchiness to these. Now the 40% polyester is actually for wrinkle resistance, wrinkle resistance, wrinkle resistance. For the most part, I mean, it works. I haven't ironed these, so you can see like, okay, right, you know, like in the usual spots where there's wrinkles, I put my hands in my pockets all the time. You can see it's like right there and then on the back, usually behind the knees are like the main culprits of where you start getting wrinkles. But other than that, there's no major wrinkles in here. There's not like that one random ass line going across the pants or anything like that. You know what I mean when it's just, you're just like, how did this get here? These pants actually do feel like, I don't know how to explain them. Thick, thicker than a bowl of oatmeal thick. They're not that thick, but they they do have like some weight to them. Uh, I think these would actually be okay to wear in the colder months too, because they're not super thin. One thing I'm gonna say is there are threads coming out of all types of crevices. I don't wanna say everywhere, but just a lot of places. The pockets, the belt loops. Damn, especially this one. It's literally three different threads coming off this thing. Some of the tags are fraying pretty bad. At $20, what do you expect? If I get a year, two years out of these, I'll be happy. So let's talk about the fit. They actually fit true to size for me. And there were some people in there that said that they didn't fit correctly. I thought they did. The length was there right at my ankles where I was expecting it to be. And so was the waist. I don't know why I said it like that, but they, they fit really well. They're snug. But like I said, there's no elastane, so there's no stretchiness in here. Make sure you know your measurements. They fit, there you go. I think these are actually a great pair of chinos taking into account how cheap they are and how available they are. They're on Amazon and they're 20 bucks. And that's where they shine at. I, they're not like super high quality. They don't have 
um, you know, crazy materials. There isn't stitching. There's no crazy story behind them or anything like that. It's just, if you need a pair of pants to be a pair of pants, here's some Gino. Here they at though. I don't know how cringy that one was, but I'ma leave it in there. A year, two years out of them? Thumbs up, yeah, yeah. But always base things off of, would I buy it again? And for these right now, probably not. I just specifically for me because I want something more with a taper. And you know, some people might say, hey, you can take that to a tailor and go get them, you know, hemmed and sewn up how you want them. But that's gonna be like another 15, 20 bucks just to do that. I might as well go buy a $40 pair of pants that fit exactly how I want them the first time. That's the only thing is literally the taper. That's why I wouldn't buy them again right now. But if I did just need some more pants and more colors and didn't wanna spend a bunch of money, boom, right there. Okay, so if this video was helpful or if you just like coming to hang out with your boy, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You know, I got some some stuff coming up. I got the $100 Target outfit challenge for fall. I bought a deodorant for $15. One deodorant, one stick of deodorant for $15. So I'll be doing a review over that soon. I know, I know. I'm gonna go take a trip this weekend and I might do a thrift store challenge out there as well because I need some new clothes for fall and they got some dope ass thrift stores out there. So stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one, my guy.